morning and welcome back to Zoo Atlanta and to another episode of Animal Tales. My name is Brittany and today we are outside of our lion habitat reading The Lion's Share, A Tale of Having Cake and Eating It Too by Matthew McGilligan. Every year at the start of spring, the lion invited a small group of animals to join him for a special dinner. The ant had never dined with the king before. She was very nervous and wanted to make a good impression. When the day came, she arrived exactly on time, not a minute too soon or too late. Sometime later, the beetle arrived, then the frog, the macaw, the warthog, the tortoise, the gorilla, the hippo, and the elephant. They were all late. When dinner was served, the ant was shocked at how the others behaved. The elephant talked about himself constantly. The hippo never wiped her mouth. The gorilla threw his food and the warthog tried to eat the flowers. What strange manners, thought the ant. She looked to the lion, who said nothing. After dinner, the table was cleared and a large cake was brought out for dessert. The lion passed it to the elephant. Please help yourself, he said. The elephant looked at the cake. I could eat this in one bite, he thought, but that might seem greedy. With a grand gesture, he cut the cake in half and passed the rest to the hippo. What a pig, thought the hippo. But if he's taking half, I'm taking half of what's left. She made a slice down the middle and handed the remaining one quarter of the cake to the gorilla. This continued around the table as each animal took half of the remaining cake and pass the rest on until it finally reached the ant. As she struggled to cut the tiny slice in two, it crumbled to pieces on her plate. All the animals turned to her. Typical ant, said the elephant. She only thinks of herself. When the cake came to me, I shared it. I know, said the hippo, we all did. Doesn't she know the king hasn't eaten yet, scoffed the tortoise. The warthog, who was sitting in her cake, simply shook her head in disgust. The ant was mortified. Surely she would never be invited back. My king, said the ant, please forgive me. I am ashamed to say there is nothing left to share. But if you will allow it, it would be my honor to bake a special strawberry sponge cake just for you tomorrow. It is my grandmother's recipe and I think you will enjoy it. The king smiled. Thank you, he said, you are very generous. Who does she think she is, thought the beetle. He scampered over to the lion's plate. My king, to show my thanks, I would like to bake you two cakes tomorrow. Double chocolate fudge. Hey king, said the frog, I'm going to bake you four raspberry layer cakes tomorrow. That's twice as many. I can top that, announced the macaw. I shall bake the king twice as many carrot cakes. Eight, and he shall have them tomorrow. Then I'll bake twice as many mud cakes, snorted the warthog. How many is that exactly? Sixteen, said the tortoise. Really, said the warthog. That sounds like a lot. Maybe for you, said the tortoise, but I will happily bake twice that. Thirty-two apple walnut cakes will be ready by tomorrow afternoon. The gorilla looked at the tortoise. He didn't like the tortoise. And although the gorilla had never baked anything ever before, he somehow found himself offering twice as many banana crumb cakes. Sixty-four, asked the king. Are you sure? The gorilla nodded, but he didn't look sure. All eyes turned to the hippo. Naturally, she stammered, it will be my honor to make twice as many spice cakes. Let me see. She took out a piece of paper and began to scribble some numbers. 
Her hoof was shaking as she put down the pencil. This can't be right, she said finally. The gorilla grabbed the piece of paper. One hundred and twenty-eight, he announced with a grin. The elephant was crestfallen, but he had to top the hippo. Elephants were twice as good as hippos. With a deep breath, he announced, and I, the great elephant, shall bake twice as many as the hippo. 246 peanut butter pound cakes. 256, corrected the tortoise. Oh, for goodness sake, said the elephant. That night, the ant baked her cake for the king. She took her time and measured everything carefully. She spread the frosting as smoothly as she could, then decorated the top with sprinkles. It was a very fine cake. The next morning, she delivered it to the king. Such a fine cake, said the lion. Won't you share it with me? And on that note, thank you guys so much for joining me for today's episode of Animal Tales.